So, if you saw the last video, you'll know why, but I'm still injured, so I'm not training very much. And all the free time on my hands has meant that last weekend I was able to go down and visit my friend Kieran, who runs the triathlon hub. Now he's a fully qualified bike fitter and recently aero bike fitter. So he invited me down and uh, we basically had the chance to have a bit of fun with his green screen and the Bioracer aero equipment and see what optimizing we could do to my position. So the Bioracer aero system, you have a green screen and an HD camera. The HD camera looks at you and it measures your frontal area. This is then plugged into the CDA equation which is used to calculate your drag. The Bioracer Aero system makes few assumptions for your coefficient of drag. You also input your planned race speed and it outputs a wattage value. For, so your planned race speed, this is how many watts you'd have to output based on your position that it's looking at. So the plan of the day was to try a few positions, uh, try a few different bits of kit and try and get that drag number to come down as low as possible. So at the minute Will's in his start in time trial position. This is quite a good one already so we've got a good platform to start from. And what we've done is we've taken a measurement from that using the bioracer system. So what we're going to do is from there start putting various extensions and different helmets that we've got to see if we can decrease that number will start in point. That's the plan. That's the plan. So then the first thing that we thought to try after getting that baseline reading was trying a few different helmets that Kieran had. So the first one we put on was the Cast Bambino. This lowered the drag so it went down to 260 watts required. However on the side profile there's a large gap between the back of my helmet and my back so in reality it might not have actually been faster that's why the results gained from this system really have to be tested in the real world but it is a good starting point for looking at how you can improve. So after that we then tried another helmet which was the Met Drone. This actually offered quite a large improvement so down to 255 watts from the starting pose and 264 watts. Now the reason for this we gathered was that the helmet did not protrude as much from my frontal profile so because the Met Drone has a visor that's higher up you can put your head down lower and still see up the road. That was obviously a good improvement so so far we've made an improvement each time with each change so that was uh, all moving in the right direction. So following the helmets we then tried a different set of extensions. The first ones that went in were the Zip Vuka 120mm drop extensions. These actually gave a really good result. So I used my current TT helmet and for 42k an hour that offered drag of 253 watts in that position. So that was over 10 watt saving from where we started. Yeah, really, really good improvement. So we were pretty happy with that. We thought, well, on the last one, the, the Met drone helmet, instead of my bell javelin offered an improvement so we tried again the met helmet but interestingly this time the drag actually went up a little bit it didn't quite fit so well with the profile so it really shows the importance that you have to try case by case the helmets with the different positions following this we then thought well if rising the bars up a little bit more than where we started offered an improvement Let's see if we rise them again, if it does the same again. So that was the idea. And we tried the, the UFC 50 degree extension. So these are really, really upright. It's kind of almost a praying mantis position. I found it quite difficult to hold on because I didn't have suitable armrest to support my elbows in this position. With my old helmet, these didn't improve over the uh, 120 mil rise bars. So, I was kind of a bit relieved about that because it didn't feel very sustainable as a position. Yeah, not, not the route that we were going to end up going down. We then tried one more set of bars. These were a J-Ben bar. Didn't offer any improvement over the Zip Vuka bars. So at that point, I think we'd been there a couple hours. It was kind of drawing to a close and we'd found, we'd found a good gain. So from the original position of 264 watts, the different extensions um, and the final position with my original helmet, 
offered an 11 watt saving over the starting pose. So pretty happy with that. That's a decent chunk off for just a bit of experimentation. It's definitely worth an afternoon at the uh, the triathlon hub. Looking forward to getting those bars ordered and installed on my bike. I will then want to give them a try in the real world because like I said, this is only a starting point. So you have to go out and test does it translate into a real world environment. I do have a really cool idea for my first ride testing these out so watch this space because I think it'll be quite exciting. I might have promised more than I can uh, deliver there, but we'll see. Fingers crossed. If you have any comments about any of the process, please leave them down in the comments. Kieran's company, The Triathlon Hub, I've left that link down in the bio if you want to check that out. If you're in the southwest Swindon area, yeah, he's the man to go to for a bike fit. He's uh, He knows what he's doing. If you could leave uh, a like and if you want to subscribe as well, that'd be wicked. And I will see you in the next one.